there's an, a little bit of a film clip with him being interviewed by his brother, Harry Evans, that exists. It's a 20 minute uh, short of Bill Evans talking about his music. And there's about one minute where he talks about teaching the students at the School of Jazz. When you begin to teach jazz, the most dangerous thing is that you tend to teach style. Now, I had 11 students. The one time I attempted to teach was at Lenox at uh, <clears throat> the jazz school they had at Lenox at Music Inn in the Berkshires. And I had 11 piano students. And uh, I would say eight of them didn't even want to know about chords or anything. They didn't want to do anything that anybody had ever done because they didn't want to be imitators, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, this is pretty naive and, and uh, an attempt to circumvent right. great problems Everybody, in music. Yeah. But nevertheless, it does uh, bring to light the fact that if you're going to try to teach jazz, you must try to teach principles which are separate from style. You must abstract the principles of music which have nothing to do with style. And this is uh, exceedingly difficult. So their teaching of jazz is a very touchy point. It, it ends up where the jazz player ultimately, if he's going to be a serious jazz player, teaches himself. But uh, the thing is that the jazz player, I think, ultimately must select and discard according to his own... Uh, oh, I agree with you there. Yeah, I have one comment. You know. You'd be a tough student. Well, <laughs> believe me, I had him. So we use that in the, in the first music in film. Um, what did he say about that? Well, he, he was uh, a little bit critical of the students at the time because they all felt that they had arrived, that they... Um, that they also didn't want to learn from previous masters and other styles, um, that they were afraid that they were going to be uh, infected by or influenced, uh, deeply influenced by, you know, other styles, you know, like, and Bill was kind of critical of that. He was saying, no, no, man, you should, you, you should accept that. You should absorb that and, and find a way to make your own, sound your own you know style from that um so you know it, it was a very interesting twist of a teacher uh saying that yeah uh, that's not yeah, that you should uh learn from history and 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 perhaps not be so obsessed with finding your own sound use history to find your own sound i guess that's what i'm i'm drawing you know that that reference from now does that run counter to what he experienced with Ornette at the time well that's interesting I would I, I've been looking for any documentation of what Bill thought about Ornette um, there might have been something that Pete Pettinger did in that book about the autobi the biography about Bill Evans um, but there's not much about that and look there's I have photos of Bill Evans um playing on george russell's wurlitzer in his little bedroom there at school of jazz and then there's other photos of george russell accompanying ornette coleman and i've always wondered was there a moment where bill evans was accompanying ornette coleman you know for some whatever you know some kind of session or just playing or improvising um, there are moments like that that I wish, you know, we could find out, you know, what was it that Bill Evans found that Ornette was, um, uh, Jim Hall, you know, we interviewed Jim Hall and uh, there were some interesting things he said about Ornette. Um, uh, a few others, uh, Randy Weston wasn't so fond of the whole Ornette experience. Um, but he was being very polite about that. Um, uh, and uh, as I said, there were these uh, people that just didn't understand what Ornette was all about back then. I think other people, you know, after the years have reasoned and underst understand it now. Um, so that's interesting to me. I guess that's the surprise mm -hmm. that you were asking about. Um, those, those little details, those moments, uh, you know, and again, this is, this all took place in three weeks. And so, you think about this moment in, in history, and it was just um, uh, 21 days. And it, it was enough to shake up the jazz scene in such a way that I, I feel like, you know, there's a, there's a 
before school of jazz and then after school of jazz you know what i mean 